Our next guest is no stranger to the industry as the spokesperson and director for the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, or simply GATA, which is committed to exposing collusion in the precious metals industry. Bill, thanks for joining us on our Outlook 2017. Good to have you back on the show. Hey, Daniela. Thanks for having me. Great to talk to you. So, Bill, I enjoy speaking with you because you seem to have a positive outlook for gold and silver next year. So let's start with gold. And where do you see prices going from here? Well, from our standpoint, you know, these prices are art artificially suppressed by the gold cartel, which keeps knocking the, you know, knocking it down. And, you know, it's way undervalued. I mean, heck, five and a half years ago it was $1,900. Uh, everything that's happened since then has actually been bullish. And yet here we are down at these lowly levels. And just recently and over the past months, th this group, what I call the gold cartel, has knocked the speculators out of the market. The open interest in gold has come down from... Oh, what, 668,000 to less than 400,000. So you've really cleaned out the market and it's set up to make big advances uh, next year. Hmm. And for silver, you're also optimistic, right? I think you noted that $50 silver isn't far-fetched. Well, they've done the same thing in silver. They wiped the specs out, 224,000 open interest to, down to, you know, 160,000. So, you know, it's all set up to make a move. And heck, silver was $50 in 1980 and it was $50 five and a half years ago. Uh, you've just had copper go berserk and yet they've yeah. contained the silver price. And I think that you're gonna see silver trade like copper just did next year, except much more volatile on the upside when it takes out 21. But you don't necessarily see $50 silver in, in a one year time frame, Bill? Well, how do you, how do you predict short term prices after we've just seen what we just saw after the Trump election and the Italian boat. I mean, from our standpoint, it's all about interventions and they can intervene all the time. I just think they're going to lose control of the silver market and it's going to be very volatile. I mean, heck, it went up. It went up that fast, almost at this from the same price of, you know, in 2010, 2011. So, yes, they could do it again very easily. OK, well, let's talk about the U.S. economy. Uh, you know, we have President elect Donald Trump, uh, you know, taking over next year. So there's potential for more tightening by the Fed, a strong U.S. dollar going into the new year. You know, how does this all play out for gold here? Well, it appears they were petrified with Trump when most people know that the Republicans and establishment of Democrats didn't want him to win. And they, the, the people behind the scenes, the PPT and gold cartel were petrified that he might win. They didn't want to have, have an after Brexit. So they came in that night, they've goosed the PPT, the Dow has gone straight up, gold's been killed. N nobody expected this to occur ahead of time, nobody. And I think what they know they have to do now is inflate the system. Yes, you could have higher interest rates. I mean, it doesn't mean the dollar has to go soaring, but I think it's gonna be like yeah. what happened in the late 70s, 1980, and you're gonna see gold just uh, take off as they inflate the system. They've got no other choice. Were you surprised as well, Bill? Well, I was, the, the market reaction was a typical, it shows what, what Gata keeps talking about. How could nobody predict what the market's doing what they did, especially gold and silver, ahead of time? And, and as we know, before the election, if there were thoughts of a Trump win, the, the Dow got hit and gold went up. So they intervened maybe like never before in history. And as a result, you know, we're in the tank now, but we shouldn't right. stay here too much longer. No. Now, Bill, for some of our viewers that are new to GATA, you know, it's an organization that aims at exposing price collusion in, in precious metals. And we've seen some major allegations made against uh, banks this year. You know, the latest news coming out of Deutsche Bank, uh, you know, settling a gold manipulation charge with a $60 million settlement. Uh, so what do you make of these settlements? Were you almost rejoicing this year? Well, I wouldn't say rejoicing, but it's about time. And, and quite frankly, Danielle, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Until we get into the real issues of what's going on, like we just saw uh, after the Trump election, all this intervention, uh, we've got a long way to go. And I think, you know, eventually, you know, the truth's going to come out and people are going to realize what they've done. So, uh, yes, it's great to see. But until they drag in the, the Federal Reserve, the Treasury, other central, other uh, bullion banks, the Bank for International Settlements and so on, then we still have a long way to go to to get our case out in the public domain. All right, Bill. And before I let you go, just one last question. And perhaps you already answered it in, in uh, question number one. But will 2017 be the year of the raging bull for gold, at least? What do you think? Well, we thought 2016 would be. And we started out that way. But we're in a similar setup, like I mentioned. And yes, I, I don't think they have any other choice. And because of what 
the gold cartel has done by getting out of their short positions. They set up a monster move for next year. Bill, thanks so much for joining us. Happy holidays. Thank you, my friend. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our continued Outlook coverage coming to you over the next few days. Happy holidays.